Amuse-bouche, Wikipedia article audio. An amuse-bouche or amuse-gule is a single, bite-sized or d'oeuvre. Amuse-bouches are different from appetizers in that they are not ordered from a menu by patrons but are served gratis and according to the chef's selection alone. These, often accompanied by a complimenting wine, are served both to prepare the guest for the meal and to offer a glimpse into the chef's approach to the art of cuisine. The term is French and literally means mouth amuser. The plural form is amuse-bouche or amuse-bouches. In France, amuse-gule is the proper term normally and traditionally employed in conversation and literary writing and amuse-bouche is not even listed in most dictionaries while amuse-bouche is a euphemistic hypercorrection that appeared in the 1980s on restaurant menus and is used almost only there. In French, bouche refers to the human mouth, while gule is also used to refer to the mouth or snout of an animal, but it is also a commonly used colloquial and familiar term for mouth that is derogatory in meaning only in certain expressions. Use in restaurants the amuse-bouche emerged as an identifiable course during the Nouvelle Cuisine movement, which emphasized smaller, more intensely flavored courses. It differs from other hors d'oeuvre in that it is small, usually just one or two bites, and pre-selected by the chef and offered free of charge to all present at the table. The functional role of the amuse-bouche could be played by rather simple offerings such as a plate of olives or a crock of tapenade. It often becomes a showcase, however, due to the artistry and showmanship of the chef, intensified by the competition among restaurants. According to Jean Georges Vongerichten, a popular New York celebrity chef with restaurants around the world, the amuse-bouche is the best way for a great chef to express his or her big ideas in small bites. At some point, the amuse-bouche transformed from an unexpected bonus to a de rigueur offering at Michelin guide-starred restaurants and those aspiring to that category. This in turn created a set of logistical challenges for restaurants, amuse-bouche must be prepared in sufficient quantities to be served to all guests, usually just after the order is taken or between main courses. This often requires a separate cooking station devoted solely to producing the course quickly as well as a large and varied collection of specialized china for serving the amuse. Interesting plates, demitasse cups, and large Asian-style soup spoons are popular choices. In addition, the kitchen must try to accommodate guests that have an aversion or allergy to ingredients in the amuse. A Japanese-influenced amuse-bouche, hamachi, salmon roe, basil, basil flower.